Hi guys and welcome to today's video. My name's Peyton if you're new and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys all my favorites from the month of December and January. So December was obviously Christmas and then January is my birthday month so I've gotten just like a lot of gift cards and been gifted a lot of things and I have been testing out stuff like crazy. So I wanted to sit down and just talk to you guys a little bit about what I've been loving over the last couple months. So I actually have some beauty favorites and then also some more like lifestyle related favorites and I know beauty and like cosmetics isn't necessarily everyone's jam so I get that I wanted to make sure I included some other stuff too for you guys that you might find interesting like I did so if you're interested in seeing what I'm loving recently then just keep watching so I'll go ahead and start off with the beauty favorites and the first thing that I want to talk to you guys about is a lip product and I mentioned this product in my last video you guys some of these products I have only found like when the within the last like two to three weeks but I'm mentioning them because I'm that in love with them like they're just that good so this is the NYX powder puff lippy and it's in the shade cool intentions I don't even know how to explain this it's just my perfect lip color and I don't know it almost makes me sad that I did my nude lip video because I have this and another nude lip a product that I want to talk to you guys about that I've just been loving recently. It's a weird like moussey texture. It is something that you're going to have to reapply throughout the day, but that doesn't bother me. I don't know. It just, when it fades, it looks so natural and it's not messy. I just really enjoy this. The only thing I don't really like about this is the smell and I can't really describe it. It's just a weird like, kind of like a sweet, but... I don't know. I just, I personally don't love it, but I mean, that's so minimal. Once you put it on your lips, you can't really smell it anymore. So, eh, not really a big deal. But yes, this is my first lip favorite of the month. And you guys have to give these a try. They come in several different colors, but this one for my skin tone is just the perfect everyday color. And I love the texture of this. Super comfortable. Next lip product I want to talk to you about is actually the combination that I'm wearing on my lips right now and I love the way this looks. I never really have tried like peachier lip products on my skin. I've always gone more like terracotta when it comes to the warm shades but I'm loving the peach undertones and this is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Peanut Brittle. Oh, smells like cupcakes which I really like. This is, whoa, sorry. <laughs> This is what the wand looks like and you guys can see that color there. So it's just a really nice like skin tone kind of a color. So I have this lip gloss on and then for the lip liner I'm wearing today, it's again the Slide on Glide on by NYX. And you guys have heard me talk about the Slide on Glide on a thousand times, but this is in the shade Sugar Glass and I'm really liking this. It's lighter than what I would usually go for, but I think these two in combination just work beautifully. And I love just how almost like fresh and kind of summery my makeup came out today. I don't know. You guys know I love natural makeup and I feel like this just looks so natural on me. So I've really been loving this. Next makeup product I want to talk to you guys about. I have like two favorites for this, but this is the e.l.f. Cream Contour Palette and this is what the inside looks like. I don't use this. It's too ashy on me and I'm not really sure why this yellow color is in here for this palette because this is the palette um, and the shade is dark. I don't know who with dark skin would wear yellow so that confuses me but I love these two. I mix these two shades together and I've been doing this contour just for when I have like not something fancy to go to necessarily but just when I am doing like more full on makeup this is what I've been wearing. I also love, there you guys are, wow. I'm also loving the mirror size in here. It's great for travel and I've been loving using these two shades with this e.l.f. brush and this is the e.l.f. small stipple brush. So what I'll do is I'll just go in here, dip, 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 and then I'll just blend out the contour in. This just does such a great job of blending and I think this brush is $3. So. Obviously, I like e.l.f. You guys have seen me use it a thousand times. Again, I really feel like the drugstore is stepping up their game in so many ways, and there's only certain things that I'm like, 
hmm, I'd rather have high end for that. And obviously every now and then it is nice to spoil yourself, but I've been loving that for my cream contour lately. I still do use my Wet n Wild stick that I talked to you guys about a couple times now. And this is like more of an everyday for me. Like I said, if I'm doing something where I want to look a little more just like chiseled and... I don't know, feel special. I love this cream contour palette. Again, this is in the shade dark, but I'll have everything below for you guys. Okay, the next favorite that I have is this foundation. And you guys, I'm still going strong with this. You know how much I love my Clinique, but this I feel like is a, almost a similar texture, but just more, um, I would say more full coverage, which I've actually been enjoying. Again, wearing it today. It's full coverage without being a mask and I love that so it's a nice like natural satin finish again it's not super matte I do have to repowder my face multiple times a day like probably two to three depending how long I'm wearing it but for me I have to do that with every foundation so that doesn't bother me I just love the finish and the color match is so nice for me too I feel like this would even be possibly a good foundation for me to wear in the summer obviously I'd have to get a different color but yeah I think the formula is great on this. I think the price is great. It's like 10 bucks, I'm pretty sure. And they have a pretty decent shade range. So I've been loving this the last few weeks. Again, didn't have this for an entire month, but I've been wearing it every single day instead of my Clinique. So that says a lot. All right, and then my last makeup favorite is the palette that you guys saw in my last video. And this is the Pro Fusion Mix Metals palette. And this is in the shade... Oh gosh, I don't even remember and it doesn't say on here. I'll look it up and if I can find it, I'll put it on there for you because I think they had two or three different versions of this. I got this from Walmart on the day after Black Friday and the shades that I've been using every single day are adventurous and typically I'll just run that straight through my crease and that's all I'll do. But then I've also been loving Rust as well for just more of like a natural looking kind of like almost like a flushed look over the eyelid I don't know but yeah I've been using these two the most the rest of the palette is beautiful also this huge mirror is just amazing they're pigmented I'm pretty sure this was ten dollars again I got it on like an after Black Friday sale from Target so I'm not sure how much it always is but it was buy one palette buy one profusion product get one half off so i actually only paid five dollars for this but i bought another palette that was ten dollars and yeah i mean obviously if it's at target it's going to be affordable majority of the time the only thing i don't really care for about this palette is the packaging it's way too thick and chunky i actually think this is kind of like ugly in my opinion but it's just too bulky i'm i'm not really like a glitter person i mean minimal complaints not a big deal the product inside is amazing so i would highly recommend you guys give this a try and then before we move into more of the lifestyle stuff i just have two skincare favorites and these are by the brand valgene labs and these are two serums that i've been trying recently and you guys i am more than happy i actually have been testing these out for about two and a half weeks now and i have been using them instead of bio oil just to see if I really like them. So the glow one, and this is vitamin C and magnesium, and it says, Valgene Labs facial serums are a collection of super concentrated serums, each a blend of essential nutrients that address specific skincare needs. Think of these as supplements for your face. And this specific glow serum, the vitamin C brightens and revitalizes and the magnesium evens out skin tone. So every morning after I cleanse my face, I'll put this on right before I do my makeup. So I go cleanser and then I use this glow serum and then I do moisturizer and that's it that's been my morning skincare the last couple weeks and I really do feel like I've seen a difference in just like the youthfulness I would say of my skin and then at night I've been going in with the Valgene Labs firming serum and this one is vitamin E and fluoric acid and it says vitamin E and fluoric acid provide an antioxidant boost for firmer youthful looking skin I can see these making a difference in my skin and the best part about it I found mine at TJ Maxx by my parents house it was $5.99 for each bottle usually I'm the type of person where if I'm like about to test a new like skincare product especially if I'm in TJ Maxx about to test it out I will just stand in the aisles and just google and scroll reading reviews until I decide is this something that I want to try 
or is it not? I was in a rush the day that I bought these, so I didn't have time to, but when I was in the car driving from my parents' house back to where I live, I read so many amazing reviews about it and was super excited that I went ahead and purchased it. You can get these from Urban Outfitters, but I'm pretty sure they're like $15 on Urban Outfitters. So check your TJ Maxx or your Marshalls first to see if they have them, but I highly recommend these and I do see a difference in my skin. And also, I wanna add this too, because I do put it on at night, I like. Like I love to pile the skincare products on at night because I'm sleeping and my skin really just drinks it in. But during the morning, when I apply this glow serum, I don't feel anything. Like it does, my skin doesn't feel like tight or it doesn't tingle, nothing like that. But over the last couple weeks, I really do feel like my skin looks healthier and more youthful. So love those and I can't believe that I got them for such a good deal. So check TJ Maxx check Marshalls. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure you can get them on Urban Outfitters. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is biotin and I use the Healthy Origins Ultra Potency Biotin. I started taking biotin for the first time probably about like three years ago. Immediately stopped because my skin broke out so bad but my mom is actually the one who recommended this to me and she had like no side effects or anything like that so I was like okay I want to give it a try obsessed. I've been using this every day for like close to two months now and I really feel like I've seen a difference in just like how shiny my hair is. I have super dry hair and I feel like it doesn't look as crispy. That's like so disrespectful to say about my hair I feel but I'm just being honest like it's I don't know. I've been loving the way that my hair looks recently and honestly paired with not putting any heat in it for a month I feel like that's probably has helped the health of it too Obviously, but this is something that I've been doing for my hair my skin and my nails and I a hundred percent see a difference Pretty sure she got this from Amazon, but I'll link it down below for you guys and yeah I I haven't broken out one single time obviously results will be different for everyone, but I really think this biotin's helping my hair out. Staying in that same category, my mom actually recommended this to me too, and this is the NeoCell Super Collagen. My favorite way to take this is just to put it in my shakes in the morning, and that's exactly what my mom does too. This collagen specifically supports hair, skin, nails, joints, and bones, and you just use like a scoop of this put it in your shake you can't taste it you could probably even put it in like oatmeal it recommends putting it in a glass of water or a glass of orange juice just one scoop but you guys don't put it in water like it tastes so bad don't try that I'm telling you right now you won't keep up with it these two I've been using lately for like hair skin nails etc again pretty sure this is on Amazon but I'll check I'll, I'll ask my mom and I'll see but either way you guys will see links below for them wherever you can get them and I don't think either of them are super expensive so that's another nice thing but I definitely have seen a difference using these products in conjunction with each other and I haven't broken out so yeah love. I have something funny to share with you guys. I got these pups for my birthday and these are glass straws. If you know me well, then you know that I love straws. I love to drink out of a straw. I don't know. I feel like I just drink more. I feel like I am not as annoyed. Like it's just overall a better experience when I drink out of a straw so I saw these on Amazon and I was like oh I want to ask for that for my birthday and thankfully I got them so yes these are on Amazon I will link these below for you guys as well the experience is just better like it's just more luxurious drinking out of this glass straw it comes with two straight straws and then two bendy straws and I've actually used the bendy straw so they're away in my kitchen somewhere but yeah the pack looks like this you get the four straws in here and then you also get a straw cleaner which is very handy and I actually didn't know this came in the set I thought I was gonna have to purchase this but I can't recommend these enough if you're someone who just likes to treat yourself every now and then get yourself a glass straw okay last thing that I have to share with you guys is a candle and John's mom and I love the smell of this this is the Yankee candle lemon and lavender she gave this to me probably like two weekends ago now and I've I feel like I've burned through too much of it these are hard to find and I had never smelled this until I saw it in her bathroom and I was like what is that I, I honestly can't put into words how good this candle is. It just, mm, it smells like spring. And I've already been burning in my house, even though we have like four inches of snow on the ground today where I live. But man, is it good. 
Uh, if you guys can get your hands on this, please do. Again, lemon and lavender Yankee Candle changes the game. I can't even, I, I'm done talking about it. So that was a shorter video than normal, but those are the things that I've been absolutely loving the past couple months. Let me know if you guys have tried any of these and what you think, or if you have any other products that you think that I should give a try, because you know I would just love. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video for more, and let me know down below like what you guys want to see. Would you guys be into me doing a more like in-depth hair discussion like just products I use or things like that let me know same for skincare is that something you're interested in I don't know let me know I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and if you guys push that little button next to subscribe you'll be notified every time I post a new video so that'll make it a lot easier for you guys than having to like come and check if I've posted I want to encourage you guys to do something kind and unexpected for someone this week thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video bye <coughs> favorites Wait.